Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So, had a couple of questions. Um, got a question from uh, Georgia D. I'll post a link to her uh, channel here on my page. But um, her question, um, she saw one of my videos and she's asking how it is that I am able to play um, back video with transitions and stuff on Final Cut Express without having to render. So I'll give you an example here. See my videos playing. There's a transition. Hey guys, there. welcome to Frank's Jumps Tech Help. Video. So you can see I have a couple of effects and then transitions going on here, and I'm able to play this on the timeline. Um, now the first thing I suggested to her is uh, the sequence um, settings over here. Uh, most of the, I think by default this is set to safe RT, which is safe real time. Um, but I'm going to go through a few settings here because if you set this, it's going to be could be choppy. You could get drop frame error messages and stuff like that. And I've tweaked my settings so much to get my system to work just right that it's hard for me to go step by step verbally. So I'm just going to jump in here and show you guys the actual settings of what I'm doing here. So um, on the sequence settings there, I have unlimited RT, which is unlimited real time. Now, if you set this, it's you know if you're on a MacBook or something, it's probably going to cause drop frames, and you're going to keep getting errors if you try to play back without rendering your files. Um, the next setting under playback video quality, you want to set to low, and then playback uh, rate, I set it to dynamic. Okay, so this is my first suggestion for settings there. And uh, now a lot of some people might not agree with this. Everybody's system is a little different. This is just what I've got to work best on my MacBook. So I have a white MacBook, 2.4 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM, and that's the specs for that. But um, so if you come up here to Final Cut Express, um, I'm going to go. Well, first thing I did is I chose Easy Setup, and you'll want to make sure. Um, for me, I've got it set to format HD, all rates, and I've got it set to HDV Apple Intermediate Codec 720p by 30. Now, I use 720p for my YouTube videos because it's uh, still high definition, but it's it saves a ton of time on editing and stuff like that. So, so that's what I did for my easy setup. Um, <clears throat> I'll jump into system settings here real quick. Let me zoom in for this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of step through. You can pause the video and take a closer look at my settings and stuff if you want. Um, so memory and cache settings, playback control. Um, so beep when doing, you know, unrendered audio. So RT unlimited, video quality low, frame rate dynamic. That's the same settings you saw me do on the timeline and record full quality. And then I don't have any, you know, that's the primary, just the playback control for that. So, and then I'll jump in here and I'll show you my uh, user preferences real quick. And so you can kind of, I mean, you don't have to set your system exactly to mine, my specs, because I'm not saying that I'm 100% right. I just know what works for me. So hopefully this helps you guys out. So take a look at the settings here. Uh, levels of undo, 10. List recent clips, 10. Real-time audio mixing, I chose four, uh, four tracks. Audio playback quality, I chose low because it's faster. And uh, you'll see um, over here, um, report dropped frames during playback. If this is checked, your system's going to stop constantly and give you error messages about dropped frames. So uncheck this right here. So the only thing I still have checked, which I've never had, abort capture on dropped frames. I've never had a problem uh, capturing. So, um, so I've got all these checked over here. Uh, save a copy every 30 minutes. Um, keep at most 40 copies per project, etc. That's not. It's kind of irrelevant here. But um, so you see those settings. Let me give you one last look real quick, so you can get you know get an eye full of that. Um, over here on editing, here are my settings. Um, if you'll notice, I've got, uh, you know, these, I think these are all pretty generic, you know, um, but just take a look at my settings there. So if you match these settings up, if you're using a MacBook or whatever, or your system's just not performing properly, then you can kind of follow these as a guideline, you know. Like I said, I've, I've 
done so many different tweaks and stuff like that that um, it's hard to keep track of everything how I got my system set exactly but um, the primary things you know like I said before the primary things you're going to want to do in order to um, use the real time on your timeline is to uncheck this report dropped frames during playback okay and the other one is going to be audio playback quality and uh, like I said I set four tracks here and low for faster and this is unchecked these are the key elements right there um, that really helped me on that and then of course uh, like I said in the user preferences or I'm sorry system settings um, is that under playback control I made sure that I had these settings right here real-time unlimited video quality low frame rate dynamic um, so now if you're getting an issue that you have red lines coming um, right here on your timeline if you have red lines sometimes I do get red lines um, and that's usually an indication of um, audio or video that does need to be rendered now when I bring video in from my Canon HG10 through the AVC HD login transfer I don't have any video rendering that needs to be done or any audio rendering that needs to be done sometimes if I bring in external clips uh, to my project I will have to render that um, so what you can do in that case is just highlight the track there and go to um, sequence up here let me zoom in a little bit and then you can choose render all and then you can either choose video or audio depending on your needs here so for instance if I chose audio um, if I wanted if I had a red line like if you're getting the beeping noise during playback for your audio um, on your timeline here so if it's beep, 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 beep right through there then you just jump up here to sequence choose uh, render all audio and that should allow your audio to play for the preview through your projects and stuff like that but as you can see I can fluently scroll through and got my transition effects and stuff like that where, and then if I go to playback it plays back with no problem so um, it's easier just to show you guys um, the settings and stuff and let you kind of work with it yourself so anyway uh, for Georgia D I hope this helps you out um, if not then hit me back and we'll keep working with it to get you a solution and I know there's a few other people out there with Final Cut Express issues <coughs> excuse me uh, like log and transfer um, one guy is having a problem with the Canon uh, Vixie I think HG 30 so I'm trying to solve that right now I'll try to get a solution for you up for that if I can figure it out so anyway um, so that's it um, just a quick setup on how my Final Cut Express is actually set up and how I'm able to do a lot of my editing on the timeline without rendering every little bit of the project so and granted now you know you get a lot of edits in here it's not gonna always be smooth take that last thing into consideration when you go to playback it could be choppy at times it might drop frames it might not look you know this is just a preview though it's not gonna look like that on your final output but hey guys welcome so to as Franks. you can see everything's pretty smooth so um, now if you get a final project done and you do want to view it all the way through um, one thing I do suggest is that if you want to speed up your final time for your rendering on the output you can go ahead and choose uh, sequence render all and choose both and let it render your entire project before you export it because it will speed up the process but it does take some extra time and everything but if you want to get a really good preview before you export your video sometimes you will want to render all typically I don't have to do that though so I don't know I think everybody, you know, it depends on your system setup and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, Georgia and everybody else, thanks for the suggestion. Um, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, please post a comment. If not, let me know, and I will try to keep working on solutions for you guys. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help, and happy 2011, guys.